Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another study vlog. This morning, we are starting from work from home and I'm gonna do some data analysis and biostats coding on my computer. I haven't done this in a really long time because for the past month or so, I've been spending 6 a.m. days in the lab every single day. And I'm gonna be really honest, I'm feeling so tired and so burnt out. I'm usually like sleeping at 12 or 1 a.m. and I'm getting like five hours of sleep a day. Not really good for my energy levels. And so today I just wanted to take the day off. Go back to what I love doing, which is just sitting in front of my computer and looking at data. Regarding my experiments from last week, remember how I said that my experiments were not really going well and there was some troubleshooting that I had to do and it was like going into Canadian Thanksgiving being really, really sad and down. The bad news is the problems are still persisting, but the good news, we're troubleshooting the assay and the experiment now. And then every time we troubleshoot it, it gets slightly better than the day before. So we're like, moving in the right direction you know with all things science and what lab goes it takes a really long time to get right so we're still trying to get that done and that's going to be the next few days as well getting back into the lab at 6 a.m but in the meantime i'm going to be at home and analyzing some files. So my usual analysis process is that I just have a ton of Excel files open on both my monitors. This is what the raw data file looks like. It's just completely blank from the lab computer and I just had it on my little USB right here. And so when I get the raw file, I put it onto my computer and then I just convert over the numbers so that I can actually see the raw data. These numbers don't actually mean anything until I go and analyze them. So these files right here are the ones that I've started analyzing. So they're all color coded. I'm looking at which ones are above or below limits of detection. And then I'm going to organize them and then put them into R, which is the biostats software that I then analyze trends with. Because I do research in a clinical lab, these numbers get thrown into the R biostats software so that I can look for trends and patterns, anything that's like medically significant. And then those get written up and put into figures that look really pretty for papers. That's gonna be my morning and I'm gonna be working on this for now. I just did my makeup, got changed, and I'm gonna head into the office soon to do a little bit of lab work and office work, but here is the progress so far. I spent the last few hours just going through some of the raw data I have, and I've run experiments for a few days now, so I have like multiple files to go through. And when you receive raw data from the computer, they're literally all just numbers, so when you go and analyze them, you apply the correct dilutions, the concentrations. Now I'm working on aggregating them and compiling them all into one master file right here that's going to be thrown into R for biostats. And the process of just compiling them all together is taking a little longer than I thought it would because I was trying to find a way to organize them so that it would be the least messy way to go and analyze downstream. And it's just taking a little bit longer than usual because this is the first time I'm actually analyzing so much data all together. But I think we're making pretty good progress. Either way, I think I'm just going to take a break now and then head into the office.
Hello, it is now 8.35 p.m. It's kind of late because the moment I got home, I changed and then took a two hour nap. The past two weeks, I've been like waking up at 6 a.m. every single day to make it in time for the lab in the morning. But then I am usually a night owl, so I don't sleep early enough. So I'm like sleeping at 12 or 1 a.m. and then sleeping five hours a night every single day. And today at the lab, I was just like crashing the entire time. I think I'm gonna treat myself tonight and I went to H Mart and I got groceries. So you already know what I'm making. I make this every single time. I'm like feeling happy, feeling down. This is like my go-to meal and it's Korean cold noodles. I got the little soup packs. I also haven't been cooking in a long time because I've been eating out quite a bit lately. I mean, I'm not really cooking anything tonight. I'm literally just like chopping up some veggies, but I'm so excited to have this meal. Spicy. My heart is so happy right now. We are all done for the day and it is not even 1.30. So I call that a win. Data turned out great. Update is that everything is all good again. I hope so. I'm not jinxing myself or anything. Hopefully not. I think I came in this morning with some jitters. I was like pretty nervous because we were able to see that I was able to produce results before but in the pilot that we ran a few days ago we also weren't able to figure out what the issues were in the previous experiments that I've run everything just kind of started working again and I think this is just like the nature of running experiments sometimes on certain days your experiments just don't really work well now it works and today worked out which is really good so I'm tired and I want to go home I'm so exhausted but we're ending on a high note that's really good Thank you. 